Well, the attention was on the Super Maxis <laughs> moving right along in the nail-biting Sydney Hobart. One man was battling the same seas, but in a very slightly different boat. Nathan, Nathan Rikers endured three days at sea following the fleet in just a rubber dinghy. Physically and emotionally drained, the seas pushed Nathan to his limits. <laughs> yeah, I made it. <laughs> Gosh, thoroughly it, exhausted. Absolutely. It was 20 feet shorter than the smallest yacht in the field. Just 50 horsepower and one man facing his biggest challenge yet. And Nathan Rikers joins us live now from Hobart. Good morning to you, Nathan. Yeah. Those pictures of you when you finished in tears, you look like a broken man. What was it like? Uh, it was, yeah, it was quite an ordeal. Um, I didn't really expect, well, know what to expect, but um, I was prepared as best as I could for, for, for what was to come. And um, yeah, well, I made it through out the other side with um, fairly unscathed, which was, which was great. Nathan, I don't know whether you're brave or bonkers. What made you take up this challenge? <laughs> uh, it's always been a, a childhood dream of mine to, um, to, 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 to complete the, the pass in an, in an inflatable boat, Tillister um, inflatable boat. But um, also I really wanted to um, you know, show my girls, Maddie and Jessie, my beautiful young girls, Maddie and Jessie, that if you, if you put your mind to something, you really, can, you, you really can do it. So you faced 40 foot waves at three o'clock in the morning in that tiny boat of yours. It must have been terrifying. Was there any point where you thought you weren't going to survive it? Um, yeah, 40 foot might have been a bit of exaggeration. That's probably what it felt like on the morning. I, I mean, they were, it was, it did get um, quite hairy um, to the early hours of the morning uh, where I did have to sort of decide at, um, at a certain stage whether I'd be able to make it into Lady Barron on the eastern side. Uh, being such a shallow inlet there, I decided that uh, I was so fatigued and, and worn out that I'm going to go around the top of uh, the inner, inner sisters and, and seek refuge around the other side there. We saw you thoroughly exhausted at the end of all of that, Nathan. Uh, was there any single moment where you regretted what, you were, what you'd undertaken? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, I really regret it. I probably regret um, not calling through to, to, the, to the plovers that, um, that reside on inner mm -hmm. sister because after more than 20 hours in Bass Strait in the middle of the night, I arrived at the Inia Sister Islands and there was a family of plovers that decided they didn't want me to, to oh. pull up on the beach there and have a sleep and uh, yeah, started to swoop me, which was, yeah, I just thought, you're joking, you can't, this can't be... No, they, were, they weren't going to give you a break. Some <laughs> critics would say, you know, you could have put yourself in danger. If you needed rescuing, other people would have been put in danger. Um, why did you do it? Why was it so important and what kept you going? Okay, I think we lost. Nathan, Hello? can you hear us again? No, no, I can hear. I got you. Yep, yeah, yeah, there. No, Andrew's just asking. Then, I mean, you look, you, you, you took a risk doing this, but if you'd also got in strife, you would have put other people at risk by coming to rescue you too. Uh, well, usually, most of the time when I go out in the boat, um, regardless of where I am, I've got the boat fairly prepared um, to, to take take on, you know, a considerable, considerable. Um, weather I guess. Um, the, the boats I've set it up so it can it can roll over and uh, also re-ride itself and and restart the engine uh, within within a few minutes. Um, yeah I, 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 was, I was carrying quite a bit of safety gear you know to, for, for my own survival enough food and water to, to last me uh, quite a long time and and also carrying a kite so if I had any engine troubles that I could uh, yeah I could pretty much sail, sail my way back to back to land. Wow. There you go. Just hey, amazing hey, effort. Yeah, it, hey, really briefly before we let you go, next year, will you do it again? No, we've lost him again. Good oh, dodgy link there. Bit of a dodgy I'm not one. too sure he is going to do it again next year. He's exhausted when we saw him that vision. But anyway, Pretty quite a challenge. Impressive. A challenge for his he, daughters. Yeah, there showing them that they can do anything.